Any doctor will tell you that with the proper diet, vitamin supplements aren't necessary. But we all use the excuse that we don't have a proper diet and pop the pills without thinking. At best, we don't need extra vitamins. At worst, they could actually do harm. Consumer reporter Helen Wellings reports. Australia is a nation of pill poppers. We love taking our multivitamins and natural supplements. If you're not choosing the right multivitamin for your needs, you could be wasting your money. From A to Zinc, a staggering 70% of Australians buy nutritional supplements, spending on average $200 a year, a total of $2.3 billion. Well, as a community, we, we spend four times as much on complementary medicines as we do on pharmaceutical drugs out of our own pockets. But how do you know which to choose from a mind-blowing 30,000 different types on the market? We're about to make that easier for you. We'll show you which brands give you the most vitamins in the best formula, the most effective to the least effective. So I'd say the ones that aren't comprehensive and aren't in sufficiently high dose, it's really false economy. We've uncovered an extraordinary scientific analysis by a team of Canadian and US biochemists, leaders in research on nutritional supplements. They've thoroughly examined over a hundred leading multivitamins available in Australia. They've evaluated and compared their formulations by separating and measuring each ingredient. Vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and other components. What you've got is seven experts that have put together what I would call a wish list. In other words, a list of ingredients that they believe would be the ultimate to have in a multivitamin. How absorbable the vitamins were, the, the range of vitamins and minerals that were in the, in the tablet, and whether they're in the appropriate amounts and the appropriate forms. Dr Mark Cohen, Professor of Complementary Medicine at RMIT, and Dr Leslie Brown, pharmacist and naturopath from the National Herbalists Association of Australia, are authors of Herbs and Natural Supplements. We showed them this latest comparison of multivitamin products, which scores brand by brand. It's really important when you look at a vitamin supplement that not only have you got all the key ingredients, but you've got them in the right combinations. They say the absolutely perfect multivitamin tablet would be a huge polypill the size of a walnut. But Professor Cohen says we should be aiming for this. The full range of um, vitamins, for example, so vitamin A, the, the full range of vitamin Bs, and B should be done in a complex, not just you know, one or two of the, v, of the B vitamins, um, certainly vitamin C, and a range of minerals. So, the results. First, the final top five scorers. Remember, they're rated against an ideal multivitamin pill. Best, USADA Health Sciences Essentials scores a very high 74%, followed by Solgar Omnium at 57, Thorn Research Owl's Formula 47, Clinician's Vitamin and Mineral Boost 45, and NFS Nutraceuticals Ultimate Sports Multi 44. But you won't find them at supermarkets or pharmacies. Most are available online, some through naturopaths and herbalists. What was it that gave certain brands such high ratings? They do contain a lot of the B-group vitamins. They contain a lot of the antioxidants. They also contain a lot of um, antioxidants that aren't traditional vitamins. So bioflavonoids, for example. Bottom of the list? Unbelievably, some of our top supermarket and pharmacy brands. Myodec and Nature's Own Multivitamins and Minerals, both with just 2.4. Heron Clinical Nutrition All-in-One Multivitamin and Mineral, 2%. Guardian in multivitamins and minerals, high potency also too. And last is Advocare, macro mineral complex, just 1%. So are the right vitamins worth the money? Go with the ones that are comprehensive in good doses, certainly. The ones Ideally, on the list? The ones on the list. Ideally though, go to a health professional, get your diet looked at, start working on the diet and get the right supplement for you. You could make a case that everybody should be taking a multivitamin just because the risks are very, very low and the benefits are potentially very high. Here's a tip. Don't waste your money taking multivitamins with a cup of tea. Best way is in the morning with breakfast and a big glass of water. It's not a good idea to take it with tea because the tannins in the tea bind the iron. You won't get the absorption of the iron. Don't take it with tea? Not with tea water. And all the details on those vitamins on our website. The Great American